this is episode four the deeper draw in of loyalty on the t cast i was sick last week i didn't really put a full episode i was i'm battling a reappearing of low anemia blood and low potassium levels and I'm working to keep them up I don't need no hospital I need I got Jesus and I got a bunch of good people in my life pushing me to take care of it and do right but the two sponsors for this episode are free sponsorship Jackson Building Supply in my hometown of Stark, Florida. Go there for all your building needs. Wood to the little pieces of pipe you put on your toilet and sink. They had them too. And the other sponsor is Dex Level Merchandise Apparel. The owner operator is Savannah Dexter and myself. And also, big, big news is coming soon, soon, pretty soon on that. Uh, yeah. And I talk about other things in the main topic. Uh, tonight starts the heavyweight championship three-way battle. Two three-way matches on Raw in a singles match will determine the Raw winner and will be at Night of Champions for to represent Raw May 27th in Saudi Arabia for the World Heavyweight title that Triple H brought back I think was a dang good decision so and SmackDown will have the same two three-way matches than a singles match at the end of the night. So, and yeah, and Raw would probably be super interesting. This is one of their last few Raws. They are leaving USA. And just want to throw this little plug in there for the XFL title game is Saturday. If you have not been following it this year, I got to watch some of the games. It's been very good, very, very, very good football. And the USFL is going on right now, too. Been very good very 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 good young talent and Danny Parker thinks I'm a mean guy he just he's outlandish he loves to post things for views but from the kindness of my heart because I am a real man no matter what I do forgive him and his wife for everything. I did that the other night. They think I was being mean. I mean, you just can't give approach how Danny Parker does it on his YouTube channel. But go follow him on his Facebook channel. So, Facebook family for his family stuff that he doesn't want to put on his YouTube channel. I don't know why he doesn't. This is just me being truthful. TCAS, this is if you feel like I'm assaulting you, that I'm not. I don't know how, but it's okay for someone to make comments. Tommy, Tom Troll Jr., I'm Tommy Jr., my dad was Tommy Sr., and they were calling him a troll. And they were bashing my spelling to each other 
in their group. This is my exclusive podcast. And yeah, I just don't think that has no right on social media. That is one way harassment. I'm a Christian. They're trying to blast, tell everybody no. And the way I acted on Saturday, the way I've been acting, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not acting in it no more. If I got to act that way, I'm throwing fists with you. I'm not acting stupid on social media like Danny Parker and his old clan and other people do. I will literally throw hands on you. And I will literally, if you want to do it from another state, if you grown and you want to take all them shots, then get all angry when I go throat cutting. And by the way, Miss Bumble, y'all are divorced. And I'm not lying. I'm not going after you or your family. I mean, I don't know the situations, as I said. It's not me for me to talk about it. But why would you all call me a stalker of Savannah Dexter when I'm not? But when I say reach out to her, did y'all do that? No. Because you won't do that. Because people that tell the truth, I've got harassed for two weeks. I, I said on this first full length, I cleaned up my phone. And I said I was going to let it, I was going to have two main topics. And this is one of them. I'm, I'm like, why do Christians and guys that have came a long way, a long way in life, like me, the underdog, the don't get, and all y'all that said, and I'm going to go here again, stop for the love of God saying you made Tommy. When you, when you do more in a five-day week than I do in two days. I'm getting so emotional right now because this is truth. Don't say anything that you made, Tommy. God has rebirthed me. God made me 36 years ago. And you uh, need to stop I wish I had it turned toward me where you can see the wiggling finger. But, you know, and I had a lady that follows. I want to talk about this on the first half of the T-Cast. Straightforward. No, no splicey. Uh, she doesn't even know me. And said, I, I posted a video and she attacked it. Straight up attacked it, attacked me, saying I was on painkillers because she was on that one time. Messing with me, she's probably going to have to get back on again because she doesn't know why she started. Because she's lying, slandering. Uh, three week for three months I've been, my uh, glycemia and iron levels dropped. And she's posting that I'm on pain medication and I'm on meth. Uh, no. And for, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's God honest. I don't have to offend myself and I'm not. This is, I want people to learn from this by this statement. I was, I just woke up. I went three weeks, couldn't hardly breathe is what she was hearing. And, and I'm a 